It's Randy with Trackem KY, and no, I'm not dead. I've just been working a lot this summer and ain't had a chance to be in none of the videos. And our deer season's been in for a couple of weeks. I don't like to hunt when it's really hot like it is right now, and I've never had a desire to kill a deer in velvet. But now we're it's almost 1st October, and we're getting ready to go, and we're making a deer feeder. And this is going to be a bear proof deer feeder because we do have a lot of bears around. And what I've done, I've took a piece of 10 inch duct work like you'd use for a heat pump or any kind of vent work. I gave it a good camo job. I got a 10 inch flare pot from Dollar General. They had these on clearance for $2. Got one limb. Just fits over the 10 inch duct work. And we're going to use this as our funnel to funnel down to our feeder. And I've just attached it with little quarter inch sheet metal screws all the way around. And now we're getting ready to attach our feeder to it. I've got a mole tree all in one feeder. That's the best feeder I've ever used. It will run all year on four AA batteries. And it's reliable, dependable, can't beat them. And they don't cost that much either. We're getting ready to attach this. We've already cut a hole in the flare pot big enough for the funnel on the feeder. All you gotta do is just center it up. I've got three little sheet metal screws that'll work just fine. always one that don't want to cooperate. There we go. She's attached. Ready to go. Camel jobs. Just spray paint. Use maple leaves as a stencil. Now, since this feeder is going to be suspended, we're going to do some work on the back end where we can hang him from a tree. Okay, now we're taking a short piece of treated 2 before, big enough to go across it, and we've set it down in it, and we're gonna attach this with big screws. I'm using three inch deck screws. So this is what's gonna have all your weight. Turn it. One very important thing about this feeder is you're going to have a lip where the flare pot goes over the ductwork there. You've got to caulk that. If you don't, water will go through it and it'll gum your feeder up and your feeder won't work. Make sure you fill it full. Don't be stingy. Got to keep water from going down in it. We're going to be attaching eye hooks into this two before on each side a little bit bigger bit for that okay we're getting our eye hooks in here you might have to drill you a pilot hole to start it need a good screwdriver to tighten them up Put them in tight. There we go. She's ready to hang. On top of it, we're going to use like a small bucket or something just to cap over it. That's all you need. We'll 
See you in the woods putting her up. We're getting ready to go hang her right now. We're not going to put any corn in it, but we're going to get it ready to hang and go ahead and hang it, and then we'll come back with the corn. And this right here on that feeder, you fill this up, it'll do over a month if you set it on one of the lower settings, and that's what I like to do. I don't like to feed them a whole lot, and at a time, you know, because if you just feed them a little, then they know they got to be there when it runs, or they're not going to get any. So uh, I set mine kind of on the one of the lowest settings. Okay, what we've done here, I brought my climbing stand, and I'm probably 12 feet up. And I've attached a steel cable to this tree. And I'm going to put a pulley right about in the center going over to this next tree. And that way if a bear comes along, he can't go up the tree and get to my feeder. And I like having my feeders off the ground anyway because it scatters corn a little bit better. Um, we'll show you what it looks like here in just a second when we get everything together. But you get the idea. Okay, we've got our cable attached. We've got some pulley up there. And don't have any corn in it right now. We're just getting it set up and we'll come back with the corn. And there you go. Perfect height. So if I were standing on the time late, you can't reach it. And, uh, looks good to me. This is Randy with Tracking the KY. Like and subscribe. And Hopefully we'll have some deer kills on there for you before long.